Hello! I'm Shredder Blades from the War Robots development team. More than 200 million players have played War Robots over the past nine years. Hundreds of thousands are logging in every day. The bustling community makes videos, creates fan art, writes their own War Robots stories, and cobbles up memes, of course. At this point, War Robots is nothing short of a universe. So let's make it official, shall we? Today we will show you the new War Robots project that one of our teams has been working on for a while now. They took the essence of War Robots, the robots themselves, and went from there in a very different, yet equally exciting direction. Griffin, a jumping menace, getting in and out of a fight on a whim. Ares, an epic predator, striking back no matter what you throw at its shields. Bulwark, a stalwart protector always standing up for the team. What else can they become? Please welcome War Robots Frontiers and War Robots PvE. For many, War Robots means a rich sci fi universe, as well as the feeling of controlling a huge, unstoppable, stomping machine. While working on our first PC and console game, we used the incredible power of Unreal Engine 5 to turn these things up to 11. This is War Robots Frontiers. Hello, I'm Zagata, creative director of War Robots Frontiers. Frontiers is set hundreds of years after the events of the original War Robots. The war in the solar system is over. Humanity has discovered interstellar travels. The fight has now moved to the vast expanse known as the Wild Ten. New world, old problems. Pilots are needed again. The planets of Wild Ten are unlike anything you've seen in War Robots. PC, consoles and Unreal Engine 5 allow us to do many things that weren't possible before. If you have played War Robots, the basics will be familiar to you. Frontiers is 6 vs 6 team-based shooter, where you build and customize your hangar of robots. However, many things have been elevated to a new level. For instance, in Frontiers, you can switch not only weapons and modules, but also whole robot parts – bodies, shoulders and chassis. They affect how your robot behaves in battle, what weapons and what abilities it can use. Each robot part can also be destroyed in battle. You can target specific enemy parts to deal maximum damage. But that's not all. The maps are resuctable too. Covers, walls, even this glass dome. Almost everything can be smashed to expose secret passages or leave the enemy without cover. Frontiers allow you to turn each battlefield into pure chaos for your opponents. Well, 10 rewards skill, grit and creativity. We are excited to see what you'll be able to do in this new world. War Robots Frontiers will be available on PC and consoles next year. You can get the Pioneer Pack for early access to closed beta in a few months and lots of goodies when the game goes online. Check the Frontiers official website for details! This announcement doesn't mean that we have stopped developing the original War Robots. On the contrary, we have doubled down on bringing it up to the modern standards. The new game doesn't replace it, but expands it. The game that started it all grows bigger and better. Hello, I am Tofsla, the War Robots community lead. Earlier this year, we launched a Hunting Grounds mode, in which you could get a glimpse of how single-player War Robots could play out. The experiment was a success, and now we are actively developing a full version of the mode. Hunting Grounds will make the return early next year, with some of the much-requested features, like using your own robots against hordes of mecha spiders. And right after that, we'll launch the fully-fledged Player vs Spiders mode, where you will be able to battle for hefty rewards. We're creating this mode for players to prove how good they are at piloting and building effective hangars. But of course, there will be something for the story enjoyers as well. You will enter a place where no pilot has gone before. We haven't forgotten that War Robots is a competitive game first of all either. We keep adding features for PvP fans as well. For example, we recently updated our league system to ensure that high-level players face fitting opponents more often. In the upcoming updates, We'll revamp the task system and add more task types. Then drones will become more balanced and easy to use. And of course, 
the long-awaited Yamantau map will return in remastered quality. We'll have plenty to talk about soon, so stay tuned for more news. So now it's official. More Robots is more than just one game. Join us for high-end PC and console experiences in War Robots Frontiers. And in the meantime, we will do the final polishing for our full-scale PvE expansion in War Robots. We are excited to finally share the results of our work with you. We hope you will find War Robots experience that suits you best. The War Robots universe is open for everyone. Join us in this journey.